Groomer alert. Bad enough you got groomers in classrooms telling Johnny, well, it's okay to chop your balls off, kid. Let's make it worse. Let's traffic illegal hormones across state lines to red states just in case your kid didn't get the message. Wow, literally the balls of these people. I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is What's Next. What the fuck? Happy Monday, everyone. Jazz Borgonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Hope you guys are doing well today. Well, of course, we begin a new week, but uh, same old woke shenanigans. Mr. Matt Walsh, yes, Mr. What is a Woman, Mr. I am from Daily Wire, who has basically broke the backs of the woke mob, especially the groomers. Well, now we got illegal drugs, illegal drugs trafficking across state lines because just in case little Johnny didn't get the message in the classroom. Let's take a look. This comes out of the Daily Wire, a crime on several different levels. Matt Walsh calls out trans activists planning on trafficking hormones, therapy drugs, cross state lines. Daily Wire host Matt Walsh called out a transgender activist for announcing a potentially illegal plan to send hormone replacement therapy drugs to gender confused people, quote unquote, in red states. The exchange began Friday when the popular Twitter account of Libs of TikTok, yes, the legendary Libs of TikTok, if you haven't checked it out, yeah, it is groomers on display. Posted a screenshot from trans activist Eli Ehrlich's Instagram page. The screenshot it post, which has since been deleted because of course it has, announced Eric's, uh, Ehrlich's excuse me, intention to provide unused prescription hormone replacement therapy drugs to people in states that have moved to ban hormone therapy. Quote, there are 20 states trying to criminalize hormone therapy, particularly for trans youth, Ehrlich wrote in a now deleted post. So my friends and I had an idea. Sending out extra prescriptions around the country. If you need hormones, I'm working with a distribu distribution network to get you access. Everything is free. No questions asked. We have hundreds of doses of testosterone, estriol, and spirulactone, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, available right now. All are prescribed by doctors and unused. Each package contains with information on dosage, obtaining blood work, etc. I realize that this is only a band-aid solution. We need full access to affirmative and medical care prom professionals immediately. However, missing a single dose of hormones can be devastating, especially if you want to be a boy, especially for trans teens and those new to hormones. These laws are outrageous, and I can't wait for them to be overturned. In the meantime, DM me if you need HRT or if you have overprescribed hormones you'd like to send out. Isn't that lovely? Wow. So caring. Libs of TikTok shared the screenshots on a thread on Twitter, tagged the FBI and a DEA. Ehrlich then deleted the post Friday afternoon, Libs of TikTok said. Walsh also called out Ehrlich on Twitter. Wow, is sending drugs to children across the country without prescriptions, parental consent, or any legal authority whatsoever? Walsh wrote, reacting to Libs of TikTok's thread, this is a crime on several different levels. Quote, this is a blatant federal crime and should be reported to both state and federal authorities, he added in a thread, linking to the FBI's tip line. In separate tweets, Walsh said he reported Ehrlich's action to the DEA. He also had several exchanges with Ehrlich. Despite taking down the original post, Ehrlich posted screenshots of Walsh's tweets on Instagram. Yes, because I have to fight back. I'm being attacked. Bragging about the attention he was receiving. Thanks for the free advertising, Matt. Ehrlich captioned one story. Confessed drug smuggler equals cool new bio. Ehrlich mocked in another. Guy's an ass clown. Washington blasted Ehrlich on full for effective immediately that his plan is still ongoing. Eli directed the on original Instagram post by now bragging that we're helping to advertise the illegal drug running operation, which is confirm confirmation excuse me, that the conspiracy to commit federal crimes is ongoing. Lots of great evidence, all helpfully provided by Eli personally. Walsh said on his Twitter Saturday that he tends to keep pursuing this issue with law enforcement. By the way, I'm not going to let this go, he tweeted. I've decided to make this my personal mission to ensure that this scumbag faces consequences for the crimes that he has confessed. We will be personally following up with law enforcement next week, as well as uh, UC of Santa Cruz. Members of the protected class may have their own and may have grown accustomed to never being held accountable for anything, but I'm going to do what I can to make sure that this one at least faces the music, he said. 
Uh, Matt Walsh is a savage. He's an absolute savage, dropping elbows off the top ropes like Macho Man Randy. And of course, if anybody knows anything about Matt Walsh's history, that when it comes to children and a mental illness that is, you know, thinking that you are a woman when you are really a man, he's like a pit bull. He will not let go. And in this story, he will not let go as well. You got this scumbag Ehrlich, and that's a good word to put it. I would have put on um, douchebag piece of shit pushing illegal hormone drugs across state lines. Because just in case, you know, kids, you know, you're feeling unwanted. You know, just be because you're feeling a little confused here. Take this. Is Ehrlich no better than the guy driving up in a white van with the blacked out windows when the door opens up and he offers candy to the little kids walking by? Except now, this is done on a digital scale. So I hope they nail this piece of shit and stop this garbage from going on. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is What's Next. If you want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.